Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my Angular NGRX course. In this video, what we'll try to do is we'll try to create the ad form and we'll try to submit the ad post using NGRX data. Okay, now I open this ad post form. Here, what I will try to do is here I will try to create div and in this one h3 add post and I will create one hr so we will be having one form as usual so how we have created I am creating just sample so I am not creating all the what we can say uh, validations and all those things my hyphen mb hyphen 3 so now label here we will be having the title and another one will be the input type is equal to text okay and class is equal to form control and the form control name write it afterwards okay now here we can go and we can write it here mb-3 and you will be having the description and this one will be of type text area text area class is equal to form control <clears throat> so this is the text area sorry okay i have created a text area now i'll be having another button another one that is nothing but the button type is equal to submit class is equal to btn btn iphone primary i can take and here i can create i can write add post okay this is a ba basic form and here I will be having add post form of type form group. Okay, of type form group and ng on in it. What we can do this dot add post form is equal to new form group of what I can do here title new form control of null. I am keeping for the first time. And here another one will be the description new form control of null so these are this is the basic add post form here i'll be having on add post okay so this is the method on submitting and here i can wrap it with the form group so it should be sorry it should be of type is equal to add post form and uh, on ng submit okay on ng submit is equal to on add post we can write it on add post okay and here i need to write form control form control name is equal to title and here also i need to use form control name is equal to description okay so here it is showing why because we need to add the reactive form modules in the app module now here I will be adding react to forms module. Okay, that's it. So now let's try to go to the posts list. So where is our post list? Add post, edit post. I am inferring. Yeah, here is a post list. So in this post list, what I will try to do is here at the top in the div, and here I will be adding h3 posts list. Okay. So I will be having one HR and here in one div what I will try to do is so I will add one A link so add post I will create one add post and here what I can do router link is equal to <coughs> so slash post slash sorry comma add we can we can keep it like this add push now let's try to see the output how it will be so here if i try to refresh this page so how it will look like we are getting an error cannot find name react to forms module i think we didn't import it i think yeah so let's import the react to forms module perfect now we should able to get the output so what is the reason post list we are having the post list everything and if i try to see refresh it here let's try to see the output yeah we got the post list and add post we are able to see if i click on the add post i'm able to see the title description and all those things now what i need to do i need to submit so in the add post dot html okay here we are having this one right yeah 
So now on add post, we need to get the data. So here, what I can do an add post here constant post of type post is equal to this dot add post form dot value. So this one will return you the post details, right? So you will be getting the post details here. So this post should be exported post, okay? Yeah. Now what I need to do? This you need to inject the post service. Here we already have the post service. Private post post service is of type post service. And now what I need to do? This dot post service dot add. We can use this add. We will be having the method post service here add. So if you try to see here, you will be able to see the add. Add we need to send the post data okay so that's it but now if you try to if you try to add it here if you try to add it here okay let's go to the console so nothing is there in the network if i try to add so if i click on description add post here it is trying to submit if you try to see localhost api slash post it is trying to make a post request and it is trying to send the data but the API endpoint URL is not this one. So now we need to write the custom uh, add uh, add method for our this one also for our this add post also. Where we need to write this one? So we need to we need to go to the post data service and we can we need to write the add here. Okay. So this receives an add post of type post and this one will receive observable of post observable of post right. So observable of post. Okay. So now you need to so now you need to write the method for this add push so how we need to write the method for this add push observable we need to import it okay now here i need i can write something like i can copy this one all okay so i can copy this one all directly and this one will be of type post i need to send the post data here so i will remove this all pipe so that it will be not confusable so here i will be sending the post Okay, so what is the response for this one? You will be getting only the ID. So that something like it will be name of type string. So this name is nothing but the ID. We will be having the response like this. So now what I need to do? I need to send the <coughs> I need to send the post data, complete post data. So what what I will be doing? So pipe, I will be using the map parameter. Okay. So data, you will be getting the data. And here what I will try to do is return. So dollar dot 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 spread operator of post comma id will be data dot name okay so we send the data like this add post now if you try to see in the po add post okay after this successfully submitted dot subscribe what we can do here is so data whatever the post data you will be getting right so just you can navigate here okay so now what you can do private router of type router okay private router of type router so now what i can do here this this dot router dot navigate so where i need to navigate slash post so now if i try to refresh this page okay fine perfect so i will try to add a new here and i will try to click add post so it is not submitting what could be the error so we are not getting any error so just try to refresh it again and i am clicking on add post so leela add post add okay leela add post description something like this i have added i click on add post so now it is successfully submitted okay if you go to the network and if you try to see here this has been submitted the get request not this one this is the post request it has been submitted and we get back to the here and also we are not getting any uh, we are not doing any http get request also for example if i try to delete these all the things okay so i deleted these all the things see how much uh, uh, ngrx data will be doing without doing our own these all things we need to implement means we should we will be getting so much of time so now what it is doing so leela so for example if you go here if i try to refresh everything will be deleted nothing data will be there 
So from the database, we are not getting anything. I click on add post, add post form. Okay, add post form. So what it is doing? So now it what it will do? It will do only the post request. Okay, after successfully it coming here and we are able to see the data also. That means it is not calling again to the get get request. It is not getting the details here. What is it is doing? So from the add post, what we have added, so it will add that one and whatever the data here it is there, it will add it to the store directly. So that there is no there is there is no reason for us to again to make the get request to to get the all the post data here. So it will directly the cache what it will do the store automatically it will append the post data whatever the post data we are getting it will append this one to the main state. Okay, so, so for that reason in the get request we are not we are not doing any again any get request after doing the add post. Okay, so these are all things if you want to implement this you have to return a lots of lots of code for this one all with using this ngrx data simply we have did four lines of code and the post data service if you have a, if you have a new endpoint url so you will be you will be writing the custom code this one that's it finished so everything cache red user actions everything everything ngrx data will be taking care only we need to tell that in the uh, api api endpoint url if you is a different means tell that one and format the data according to me i will do the rest of things okay so this is how we will be doing the add post form in the next video we will see how to update the post form also okay so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video so that i will try to give the reply and if you have and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you